Hey, welcome back to the Everyday Joy podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. If you don't already follow us, why don't you head over to Instagram, type in at Everyday Joy Pod. Give us a follow and make sure you uh, suss out all of our video content, check out some of the cool things that are happening, and even better, why don't you turn on notifications so that way you find out all of the fun things ahead of time. I can't wait to dive into today's words to live by. Colossians 3, 13 says, Don't be angry with each other, but forgive each other. If you feel someone has wronged you, forgive them. Forgive others because the Lord forgave you. Vin, we're going to dive straight into this episode. I think we've got a lot to unpack and chat about. Forgiveness is such an integral part of humanity. Either two, one, crush us, break us apart, disunify us, (laughs) or to bring unity, to bring forgiveness and to bring like joy, I suppose. Because I don't know, I guess when I reflect on my life, the times where I've been able to overcome a season of deep unforgiveness, Mm. there is a level of softness that comes around that either experience that person that time because you have to do the work to learn how to forgive and it's <laughs> not always easy Vin. Uh, it certainly isn't i just think i look at a verse like this and i go why is this in the bible why, it's obviously Lord? you know it's obviously here to help us so i ask the question you know why is forgiveness good for us for me i think it's all about if we don't forgive people what then yeah. what sits in us if we don't and for me I just look at that and I go, when I haven't been forgiving or if I've been reluctant to forgive someone, you know what exists in my heart is bitterness towards that person. Yeah. Um, animosity towards that individual. Yeah. And I'm telling you, those two things are just not good. They're just not good for your yeah. life. They're not good for your heart. They're not good for your relationships. None of it. Now, I'm not talking about we forgive everyone and just like trust everyone again and then just let them hurt us again. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that we can't live with bitterness in our lives, yeah. you know? And I've had this in my life where multiple family members have hurt, um, abused my trust, um, hurt me, hurt people that I love in our family. And I'm sure everyone listening to this can Mm. think of at least one person in in their family. And sometimes, you know, honestly, it's harder when it is your family to forgive them. Um, I've had situations, some of the most heartbreaking stuff you'd ever think about. But I always remember when I, you know... A lot of these situations that I'm referring to did happen in my adult life. I found out things about relatives that I just wish I just just wish weren't true. Mm. Uh, but I remember every time that someone would bring me heartbreaking news, hurtful news, painful news, the first thing that I would hold on to, um, and maybe it was the Holy Spirit in my heart talking to me about it, but it was pretty much, Vin, remember forgiveness. And that it's really hard to be in a moment where someone's telling you something very hurtful that they've done to have that as a primary thought and have that as a first response. Um, but it's so important that we have that intimacy with Christ that allows him to speak to us in those moments. Um, I'm not saying that we uh, allow people to hurt us repeatedly. I'm not saying that. But I just remember like one of these times someone close to me admitted they'd done a terrible, terrible thing. And I remember looking them in the eyes and saying, you know, you've really hurt us. You've, you've done irreparable damage, you know, like how could you do this to us? This is the most painful thing that you could have ever done. But I remember looking at that person and saying, but I'm still going to love you. Mm. I will forgive you for this, but it is going to be a hard process. You know, I'm not a person who wants to have bitterness in my heart. Um, and honestly, if there's anyone out there listening that has been hurt or, you know, is wrestling with forgiveness, just ask yourself, is bitterness in in my heart actually going to help me? Or is this just more damage that this individual can do to me? And that's what I mm. felt, you know, Holy Spirit was like prompting me towards was, you know, Vin, this person, you're going to love them. You, you may not trust them as much again. You won't allow them to hurt you like this again. But you really do need to think about forgiveness. You need to think about love. You need to think about Christ-likeness in this moment. And so, yeah, I think... Yeah, for me, <laughs> this is a hard one. Yeah. Because because sometimes it is, you know, our family who can do the 
most damage and, and hurts the most often. And hurts the most and can make it really hard. So. Mm. I think what you said about making forgiveness at the forefront, like the way you were just mm. talking about that before, saying that even like the fact that the Holy Spirit prompted you of that. Mm. And there are so many scriptures in the Bible that go like, forgive others because I've forgiven you. Like yeah. even the story of, um, I forget what part of the Bible it's in, but where, you know, Jesus kind of goes to this woman and she's going to be like beaten up basically. And she goes, mm. all right, whoever of you like aren't guilty, like, throw the first stone yeah and and not well, like we're saying it doesn't mean that we're saying what people do is right or what they they've done is valid not at all but it's like what you said will that bitterness actually like do anything for you yeah right and um and it's kind of like bitterness realistically bitterness and unforgiveness hurts you more than the person that you're oh, yeah. resenting or bitter mm. towards because yep. often they're unaware or not, or not even unaware. Yeah. They don't know. They don't care. They, they It's not a thought process that yeah. they have continually. But having forgiveness at the forefront mm. is such a great thought because that's not how I'm naturally inclined. Neither. Like my <laughs> natural like response to people hurting me, disappointing me is to be like, I can't believe you. This is like you yeah. want to hold on to that. And I know yeah. for me when I've gone through seasons, and I'll be totally honest, I have felt the right to be bitter, if that oh, makes yeah. sense. Like oh, it's like yeah. this entitlement that comes upon yeah, me to like, be like, I deserve to feel I this, deserve way. To feel this yeah. way. And I and I remember there was a scenario. It involved just like a deep kind of church mm. hurt type scenario, and I Dang. felt so justified. I, justified. <laughs> I was like, I am so justified to mm. think poorly of you, speak poorly of mm. you all of these things. And I remember a similar sort of situation to what you said, Vin. I remember at one point mm. the Holy Spirit really convicted me and was like, well, have I not forgiven you? Yeah. And like I said, doesn't validate, doesn't affirm what they've no. done, but forgiveness releases you from yeah. the grip of that disappointment, that hurt. Mm. And um, and it kind of, you know, it, it, there's, there's this thought or this quote that says like, Bitterness imprisons life, but love and mm. forgiveness releases it. Wow. Love and forgiveness releases, mm. it actually releases you from the imprisonment. It releases yep. you from being in that place of unforgiveness. And, you know, I think that all those thoughts that you just said, Vin, and I'm sure there's mm. people listening, maybe you are in a season where you are so hurt and you are so yep. distraught over a scenario. Mm. And we see you, like we understand that what you're going through is not easy. You know, it's not always going to be a click of the fingers, I forgive them scenario. <laughs> Actually, it very rarely is. Yeah. But we would encourage you, go on the journey of forgiveness. Mm. Go on the journey of releasing that bitterness. And, you know, Vin, the story that you shared, mm. it's not an easy scenario. It's not No. It's not a uh it's not something that you just go, Oh yeah, cool, move on. No. And it really, it really is. And things totally. can take time to heal. And like I said, it doesn't mean we trust the individual again. But um, forgiveness is, is so essential. And like the, the passage even says, you know, as the Lord forgives you. And we like to read that and think about our prior life, like our, mm. our past and be like, yeah, God's forgiven me for some things. But don't forget, all of us are going to stuff up totally. going into the future. Yeah. And so one of the other things to think about, if you're finding it hard to forgive someone and um and it can be one of the things you might want to think about. And one of the things that I thought about in one of those hard moments was, I don't know what I'm going to do in the future. And I may do something, maybe not the same thing, but I may do something just as damaging accidentally or intentionally. And what am I going to want from my family? What am I going to want from God? Um, if that ever, and I, Lord, please don't let this happen. But like, if I ever did something so hurtful, I would want forgiveness too, you yeah. know? So it's not, I'm not saying those of us who forgive people are more self-righteous or whatever i'm just saying that there will be things that i need forgiveness for in the future that i'm not yet aware of and i'm like i'm going to extend grace now because that's what i would want when when and if those things happen to me and i'm the one who's sitting in the uh you know in front of the jury um i would want god's grace and my family's forgiveness too and that's a really hard one to to think about when you're going through um, a painful period mm. but like that was the other thing that I thought about was like my life's not done yet Yeah, I may do something as damaging as these things that have been done to me Yeah, what would I want God's response to be what would totally. I want my family's response to be um, 
And it, like I said, it doesn't mean that we trust those individuals again and let them hurt us repeatedly. But it, it, it does help us remember forgiveness and how much we actually appreciate and need forgiveness in our lives. I mean, it was such an important thing to Christ. Um, he died for it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the other sort of thing that I felt like the yeah. Holy Spirit was prompting me to was being, you are not as self-righteous as you think you are in this moment. You feel justified, as you were saying, Ash. You know, you feel, oh, I feel so justified to feel this way. Guess what? Someone may feel that way towards us one day. Totally. And I would just pray that the Holy Spirit would bring the same message and the same thought. You know, forgiveness is essential. Yeah. Don't live with bitterness. Yeah. You know? So good, Ben. I just love that thought. Forgiveness at the forefront is kind of mm. where we need to be sitting. I am not unfamiliar with how difficult forgiveness can be. You know, the stories that Ben was sharing about how often, particularly when it's those closest to us who hurt us, it can be a very long journey. But that thought that Vin had, that thought that was prompted by the Holy Spirit, forgiveness at the forefront. I'm so challenged to whatever I encounter a scenario now, whenever I start to feel those niggles of anger and unforgiveness start to come in my life, that I'm going to go, okay, Ash, let's keep forgiveness at the forefront. Let me remember that Christ has died for me. I cannot wait to dive even deeper into the Word of God with you tomorrow, and I pray that you have the best day today. Until then, I pray you're able to find moments of joy.